Good morning. So I decided yesterday I cancelled my appointment that the red hair is going to stay. It's not the colour that I wanted but I'm not really hating it that much. It's a bit yucky and messy today because I do have to do some training so I decided I'm just going to wash it after instead of washing it before. But overall I actually don't hate it so I'm just going to ride it out. It's already fading quite a bit because I have so much blonde underneath and um, we'll just see where it goes. A little bit of a body check-in. My body weight has gone up a little bit over the last few days. Um, I feel like it's a little bit of bloating even though I'm doing the coffee enemas. I just feel it's all kind of here and not necessarily body fat. But I am getting stronger so that's what matters. Um, fatigue isn't the best at the moment. I'm feeling a little bit crappy. But I am still getting in um, that one to two training sessions a day. I've got jujitsu today and shoulders and maybe a bit of biceps because I'm trying to grow these boobies and they just do not want to grow. But that's what happens with weight loss. It goes like this, ebbs and flows. And when it, it's starting to go up a little bit, you just got to ride it out and not just quit or binge eat or do things you know you shouldn't do because it's just how your body works. It could be water, it could be inflammation, it could be the time of the month. You have no idea what it could be. It could be stress. So it just it could be something I've eaten. So just take time and just ride through those moments. Setting up my blender is literally like playing a game of Tetris first thing in the morning. My roommate still can't figure it out. I have been pre-cutting up all my celery lately, so it's just that much easier to just throw in the blender first thing in the morning when I'm going to have my 16 ounces of pure celery juice and I just built water everywhere. It's, I'm a genius. Damn. Bottoms up. First thing every morning before I after I have my celery juice before I usually have my smoothie is I have about three to four Brazil nuts, which is full of selenium, which is awesome for your thyroid. So if you have thyroid issues, make sure you're having Brazil nuts. If you don't have thyroid issues, it's actually not a bad idea to have every morning. Just met up with my sister and a couple of her friends for a quick coffee in between my break at work. Running back to work for my last um, EMS client of the morning and then a job just for training. I'm already sweating and we've only done the warm up. I haven't even started rolling yet. I just finished jiu-jitsu training, about to go grab some lunch with my dad. My hair, my face and my shirt, all matching. Who says I don't have style? So today's rolling was pretty shocking. It is one of my first really hot days of the year and it was ghee. And one, I hate ghee. Two, Australian summer is not fun, especially when you're wearing ghee. And all my rolls were just not on point. I was just distracted and thinking about absolutely everything else but my game. So let's just say today was not my day, but I get some sushi now, so win! Dress, where'd you get it from? I don't know. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> I don't think I'm ever getting my dress back. And again. <laughs> so I have about an hour or so gap before my final client of the day. And I'm going to quickly do a coffee enema. And I'm trying to find the time of the day that works best to do these. I did one late last night for the first time. It was an evening one. And I didn't really sleep well. So I don't think the evening's the best time for me to do it. And then I've done it in the daytime. But I'm a little bit worried of lifting heavy and stuff afterwards. So I'm going to give this time of the day a go. And uh, see how I feel. So that is a wrap for today. I did the coffee enema around 4 p.m. and I think that was better. Although my body was pretty wrecked, like it, 
it takes a lot out of you it drains you so i didn't end up doing shoulders today but tomorrow morning i have a little bit of a gap between sessions so i might do an upper body session and then finish my sessions for the morning and then go do jiu-jitsu training hopefully it is extremely hot here in australia and it's been like overnight turned really hot so everyone's kind of like freaking out with how hot it is so doing to do so in like a shed in a gi is not really something that i'm really up for right now but hopefully my body feels up for it the whole point of my youtube channel is just to show people how to live a strong happy and healthy life and yes i'm dealing with a thyroid issue early onset autoimmune disease thing but the whole point is to show that you can transform your life into creating a stronger happy and healthy version of you and to create those small little habits habits that um can ultimately get that goal so strength wise i did did you see today um happy wise i hung out with my sister i got to see some of her friends which i really love i got to be in a workplace that made me happy with all my clients and healthy wise i made sure my diet today was on point i did the coffee enema i had two i had like a nasty salad for lunch which you guys saw i had a big ass salad for dinner i had two juices a mixed vegetable juice and a celery juice and i had my smoothie for breakfast and no unhealthy snacking and i had one coffee so as far as he healthy goes i'm pretty much on point when you're in the point of trying to transform your life you see it as such a big picture like you're gonna start training every day you're gonna go keto you're gonna do fasting you're gonna eat healthy you're gonna cut out alcohol there's so many things and the list is endless of what needs to be done but the whole point is if you can make those small little strong happy and healthy changes in your life they'll all add up into a really big picture and have a snowball effect so the goal uh, the rule one is consistency and after that it's just slowly add little little like little things into your life one at a time.